else around But we're all here grooving next to you So see all the friends you found And welcome back to First Day Sandbox Stream with me, v -Pire. Wait, no, that's not me. I'm Panda. Oh? Yeah, v -Pire. Are you sure? I'm Am not I? anymore. Are you Panda? <laughs> not anymore. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you're Panda. Yes. Uh, welcome, Absolutely. everyone. My hair is, yeah. is different now. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say blue, but, but it's not really... Oh, honestly, I don't. Right my hair is. I'm, I'm kind of letting it fade out. I use this uh, more natural. Have you ever had like those, um, like the shampoo where it looks like a bar of soap, and it's meant to be like no, no waste packaging. So it comes in like a little I've cardboard box. It. I haven't yeah. used it. Honestly, one, it's a lovely shampoo. It's really, really nice, and I like it. However, it strips color out of your hair like no one's business. So, like, oh. I used it the other day, and I was like, oh, oh, a bunch of color came out. So, at the minute, I'm just <laughs> allowing my natural hair color to come through a little bit, try and strip out some of the color, and then we'll start again on a clean canvas. How's that sound? <laughs> but, yes, I am Panda Pops, and I am joined by voice, spirit, mind, and not body. I mean, I, I assume you have a body. 
just not it's sh- here yeah it's it's with you there we go and uh, the lovely <laughs> vampire hey everyone <laughs> Right, so Tom Voxel was first. They've got first question mark. And the sand dude. I'm dude, sorry, I'm gonna stop. Sand. I'm gonna stop doing that. Anyway, <laughs> first thing, first <laughs> bit of news. We're gonna go over just a couple of bits of news. Open source models. Seb has allowed his avatar to be open sourced. So you can download his avatar, but if you're worried about clicking links in uh, the Git book uh, without knowing, there are videos that I created actually showing you the whole process. So you see me click links. So you you get to watch me do it and then you can do it and make your own Seb. Uh, I saw somebody, um, I can't remember who their name is. I know I liked and I know I commented. I may have retweeted. In fact, I think I definitely did retweet, but they had taken his avatar model and placed it in their own game and he's all like smooth 3d yeah it's cool it looked it looked nice so whoever did that whoever did that well done oh you see it have you got it yeah yeah i've got it i can i can i can link your retweet are you linking it in chat or i can link it in chat your retweet my retweet uh, which is also a good segue. Make sure you are following me and Vpire over on Twitter. Tweet, tweet. Yeah. Tweet, 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 <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's by Kevin. How can I forget such a class name like Kevin? It's good old Kev. <laughs> Never forget go, Kevin. <laughs> go, 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 Kev. Whoop, whoop. But look. Look at this. It looks so cool. It it's is. so Funny to th- to see. Uh, but look so at him doing the little dance. This... <laughs> but look, look, this looks so cool. I actually want to play this as well. I'm there like, oh, yeah. DJ Royale. There we go. Love it. Awesome. Absolutely top notch. Good on Kev. Can always you can always guarantee a Kev. Ke- a Kev will bosh summon out <laughs> amazing next bit of news heroes versus the villains uh we have extended the deadline for this so you have an additional week because you guys are being too lazy there's not enough of you participating <laughs> so we're extending it um also i am fully aware that we have been having like do a lot of like sand yeah do you not do you not like money <laughs> why <Don't> not <laughs> why not um but honestly <laughs> honestly we've extended it uh I, I i do get potentially part of the reason is we have been having a lot of contests where it's been very back to back to back to back on main contests it's not like it's been like a little thing it's it's like a, a proper contest but do remember the top five winners as well as the sand that they win get their assets minted and you get to sell them in the marketplace if that so that's two assets you get to mint two assets your hero and your villain like come on guys enter also the people that have entered already and submitted i have i have taken a little sneaky peek at what you have submitted and they're really cool and the hero for one of them is the cutest thing i have ever seen and it it makes me so happy it does (laughs) a little bit it does make me think is this really a hero but i guess it would depend on the game that you're playing like at, at any point anybody could be a hero you know even scruffy who is up for grabs in our giveaway that will be dropped in a little while scruffy could be the the hero of your game Anybody can be a hero. We Why never not? we never defined what your hero needed to look like. So, like we didn't go like, "Oh, please do a normal hero." But honestly, so this isn't my favorite animal, but it's definitely up there as one of my favorites. But frogs. This character has like a whole little frog outfit going on and she's holding a little frog and honestly Aww. it's it's so cute it makes my ovaries like burst <laughs> uh, 
so yes, that was the hit. Damn it, I closed it and I'm like, oh, I need to link that. Let me just grab it. But you have now until the 9th of July to submit. And also I did ask for the results announcements to be updated. They were updated on the other end. They weren't updated for the beginning. So please ignore this first date and go by the second date <laughs> because they, they aren't going to be announced the day after. I'm going to ask for this to be amended, but please just go by the last date shown. Uh, pleases and thank yous. Blondish Fox Edit Contest. This closes in almost 24 hours, so do be finishing up those assets you have until June 30th at 1159 p.m. UTC. Convert that to your local time. Please create a music type asset that incorporates these countries. Uh, I have noticed a lot of submissions are kind of like DJ booth stages. Uh, these, in my opinion, have been a very good way to represent these styles like Paris, London, LA, Egypt. So maybe if you're stuck for an idea, maybe just make like a small little DJ booth uh, for London. Pop some uh, phone boxes on there. Have like a teapot on top that pours into a cup. I don't know. Get creative, guys. Uh, NYC. Uh, also, this always makes me laugh. The pulsating energy of NYC. <laughs> Honestly, like, that just gives me <laughs> images. Could you remind us which animations are expected in hero slash villains? So, if you, if you don't do all of the animations that are needed, but you are chosen in the top five for your assets to be minted, you will work with most likely me to help you finish up those animations. Ideally, you want... I sh and I do you know what I'm going to ask for it to be added into the medium article it should have been added so I do apologize for that that's an oversight so I'm going to just type it in here right I would say those are the minimum I tried to do like a a space below each and it's not so walk run idle jump death death pose and attack would be the minimum that you need to do if you are using one of the templates to edit and change uh ideally if you could try and keep all of those animations that is an, an additional bonus obviously you don't need to show all of those animations in your render just as long as you show that you have got some animations that have been slightly edited or adjusted uh that they are workable assets is great thanking you next is City Block. This is the really cool thing I'm going to be going over today. Um, Alex has made some amazing assets, some of which are up for sale. So go check out this collection, City Block. They're all named City Block. And this down below here, City Block Spring, this is going to be given away. That's right, a claim. So for free, for free. For free uh, to landowners who have held land since I believe February. So if you are holding land on February, then uh, then you should be eligible for this. Obviously, uh, I believe it goes for the same as any claims. It does need to be your land would have to be on a KYC account for you to be able to claim it. Uh, so unfortunately, I won't. Oh, yeah. Be able to, yeah, I was like, I'm not going <laughs> to be able to claim it. Aww. Which is sad. It's sad, I'll cry. Because it's really cool. It and, is, and, for sure. And the point of this asset is that you can actually place it in so many different ways. And we're going to go over it. There are assets as well that you will see on the city block that are up for sale. I've already grabbed myself a potted bush. Um, but yeah, there's street lights. 
uh, cacti planter, the graffiti, the couches, so the love seat, the couch, and the patterned rug, which I do want to just like show off. Like, look at the detail on this. Look at oh, that. Oh, wow. Look really at nice. it. It, it. It is. Is that not just so beautiful? Like, I feel like Alex just wove all of those voxels by hand. Yeah. Like, it, it seems like such a woven masterpiece. Voxel woven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's uh, been using his uh, vo- voxel weave. His voxel weave! <laughs> there we go. Uh, does he have a voxel weave on his head? <laughs> That is what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what he's got. <laughs> so we're gonna hop into my test. That's interesting. <laughs> I'd like to see this. <laughs> Look at it! Look at it! Exactly. Wait, let's let's bring it back up. Look at it! Look! <laughs> Look! In, in fact, you don't need me aggressively telling you to look because have you seen the price? It is only 15.75 sand. Can you Adam and Eve it? Come on now, mate. Come on. <laughs> right. It's almost no money. <laughs> exactly. And the potted no bush. Excuse. The potted bush was even less. So this, Oh yeah, that one's super cheap. <laughs> this is my new test environment. I've been doing some uh gitbook videos and I have been making little test rooms. I'm gonna be adding more to show off different assets and uh, different tutorials. So we've got like a living room with a kitchenette area over there and then we've got the bar. But for what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be going over to this side, or oh, which means I need to grab, I need to grab this. Come with me, please. And uh, let's, let's make you visible. Well, all right, let's move you over here. Oh, oh, wait, oh, I'm really, I'm zoomed up. Wait, where is it? How is <laughs> oh, it underground? Oh, such a classic getting, getting lost, getting the avatar portal lost. But I don't, I don't understand. I must have just, oh, uh, never mind. Right, city, <laughs> city block. Now, when you start typing city, you'll even see that there, there are some new blocks. These are new basic <laughs> assets. For you guys, brand new basic blocks. Look at how pretty they are. Well, I'm just gonna zoom in so you can. Oh, so lucky. You do. You, I don't think they've realised how lucky they are. So look, look, you can make some sort of columns here. Like we can have the bottom of a column. We've got this bit that works well together, and then we pop the top. So you can make different sized columns. So you got the top and the bottom there. We got some floor pieces. Like that we've got some pool tiles. We'll be having a look at that with the pool soon. We got just solid green, and what a lovely shade of green as well. Yeah. Look at how nice that is. I wonder what it'll look like if I made. I I actually haven't had. Oh look look at look at this. Oh. <laughs> It is having a blast right now using these. I am. Oh, wait, too, too much. There oh, we it's go. also great to have a set like this because when you have a proper set, you can really make so many good combinations. So this is really great. It, oh, yes. So this is, so we've got the, we've got the green base. We got the green cap. We got the green full tile. So here we go. There's your, there's your full tile. Look at that. Then awesome. we have the quarter tile. And then we have the pool tiles. Do you know what this reminds me of? When you get a new pack on The Sims. Yeah, so I was like, just going to say, this is, this, is, this is like playing The Sims right now. Yeah, we've got, we've got <laughs> solid white. So you could just do the solid white right there. Or you could maybe make a nice solid white floor. Uh, and then we've got the solid green. Once again, you can even just use it like that, or you can use it as just a solid green floor. And um, I was... So many possibilities. Uh, Alex was too quick for me. He asked me to make sure that I, heart, I did the heart for wish list the, the assets to show you uh, before they got minted. However, he was too quick. 
And I only managed to do a couple. Ah, so you don't have all of the... I don't have... Yeah, I don't have... I don't think I'm missing many. Let me... Let me just grab... Let me just take a look. Uh, what am I missing? I'm missing the sofas. The sofas... Ah, yes. yes. So the sofas are what I'm missing. However, all of these are, in fact, shown in, in the building itself. And so these planters are actually made to snap to one another. Let oh, me just... that's also super cool. Yep. Yeah. So let me just... Oh, that's great. You can do that. These ones as well. I love it when things snap to each other. These ones Feels as so well. so satisfying. It, they do. These <laughs> ones as well snap like this. However, due to their size, they, they don't snap going the other way, whereas these ones will. So if I just duplicate that and snap there, you see how they're, they're perfectly in line here. Whereas these ones, due to their size, they can't, they can't snap like that. Oh, well, I suppose you could do it like that. It doesn't look bad. Does no, it? it actually no. doesn't. No, no. I, don't, I don't mind that. I don't see much sea fighting going on even. No. As well, but that so. is something Alex really tried to make sure didn't happen. Oh, no, but I mean when you put it on top of oh. each other, the two assets are on top of each other, so it could potentially, of course, see fighting. I don't expect ever to see... Okay, there's a little bit. I don't expect to see it in the asset itself. Alex knows to look out for that. Where are you seeing the Z-fighting? On the... um. On the cacti, when they are standing on top, you're basically placing them on, them on top of each other when you're placing them next to each other oh! the other way. So if you look at like the edge, uh, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, on not on this the, way. On, when on you're the placing them sort yeah. of next to each other, yeah. yeah. So, oh yes, yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. Which that is, is not of... that is not Alex's fault. That's just because we placed them basically on top of each yeah, other. Yeah, Alex did tell me. He literally said they are not to go like that. He's like they don't place yeah. like that. So that would be a design choice. But you can obviously yeah. instead of snapping them, you can you can just do you it individually. Yeah. yeah, you you can just move them. Panda, I have a question in terms of log term objective. Oh, long long. Long-term objectives oh. it is team intending to increase the graphics of the game but keep the sandbox feel or this would be forever per se. So um, the whole block feel is what sandbox is going to keep as their art style. However, people have in fact created incredibly detailed assets and mm -hmm. I, Very diverse. I am going to just quickly try and find one real fast. If you're not a fan of the very sort of simple um, style with not too much detailing, you can definitely do way more detailed um, assets if that's what you're into. Uh, I've got some kind of monuments in my... Yeah, shrine, shrine, it's Shrine of Truth. I'm trying to find it. Oh, okay. Shrine I've of... got some kind of my monument from, I think it's from Sandrush or something yeah, like that, that they made a long time ago. So Sandrush and Light Trail... Yeah, beautiful. Sandrush and Light Trail Adventures made the Shrine of Truth. I think that's... Yeah. yeah um, Is that the one I'm thinking about? It, it's 100% the one you're thinking of. It's incredible it, it's also it modular is. if it's the one i'm thinking it, about. it is yeah they had a whole auction uh, uh yeah th yeah they did yeah yeah i'm just trying to find i found like the the land auction oh you know what i'm silly I was looking on. I wasn't looking on assets. What were you looking at? The sandbox. Oh. <laughs> like you know the one that shows you the land. I was like, why is this? Oh wait, why is this just showing me this? So this is just a piece. This is a piece. 
Ah, yeah. Of there the Shrine of Truth. So this, this is... This is insanity to look at. Yeah. Look at this detail. Honestly. And Sandra, sh- a lot of their assets look like this. So many yeah. of their assets are just yeah. super detailed. So, so you detailed. Build, so this is also... You could also- definitely do the style and it's, it's fantastic if you're yeah. into that rather than the simple yeah. style at the sandbox. This, like this is very very large like the size of this is extreme this is a giant asset so it was a total of one two two three four five six seven i believe yes seven seven total seven total pieces made up this entire asset central piece oh my god this one yeah the center atrium looks freaking amazing honestly it's so cool. This was sold at auction as like a bundle on OpenSea for auction. So Cyber, you can see the owner is CyberCons. CyberCons won it. Um, so yeah, that's that is so much work. It is. It took. It is it, indeed a lot of work. It took eight <laughs> artists from two separate teams. So once again, Sandrush wow. and Light Trail Adventures. Four artists from each of those teams collaborated to create this. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. Was amazing. Um, I I do strongly suggest it's not often on here that I I try and um, promote too many different people, but I am going to just promote Sand. Why why is that thing not on here? Let me try and find them. Oh, there it is. Oh, damn it! There. Oh, their thing's The Sand Rush. Right, so this is their Twitter. If you guys want to go follow them, I really do strongly suggest uh, you give them a sweet follow. 100%. This is, they've also created a little area where people can equip uh, assets and test them out, which is really cool. Sort of like a dress-up area. They've been promoting that. Um... I haven't even seen that. That's super cool. Yeah, they've they've done a lot of stuff. I haven't actually checked their Twitter for a while. They do retweet out. No, me out, too. It's out been a, a little people. while. They do retweet out a few people, but yeah, definitely keep an eye on them. They've got experiences. They're part of the Game Maker Fund, uh, so they've got experiences coming out. But back to this. Yes. So the city city block. So all I'm missing is the the chairs. So please, please be patient with me. So this is a very, very large asset. Indeed it is. If I, if this was on a one by one, it would take up a lot of space. So I'm just going to place it a couple of times. I have been informed by Alex. What happens is, uh, where's, where's, oh, there we go. Right, let's just actually delete you for now. So... If you, I'm going to get my notes up. I wrote notes, everyone. So if you (laughs) want your character, the avatar, to spawn basically right in front of it, you'll get some weird collisions if you put it right next to the base. You even need to move it a little bit back because when you spawn in, it might jump your avatar up and do some weird stuff. Or if you do want them to spawn down here, he suggests doing a three meter down hole. So that's three blocks low. So just make sure that you don't have don't have the issues. So that's one. Two, and then I'm just gonna just pop some stairs in here. There we go. So if you want spawn like right next to it. That's not three meters down, is it? That's oh no, it is. That's two. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's one. That's two. I'm oh. guessing basically the avatar needs to be below the collision box. Oh, or like, there yeah, we go. The, no, no, no. I, yeah, there. I'm still, I'm still in the wrong place. Yeah, so it does. I did, I did it one, one less than what I should have done it. There we go. So if we pop it down. 
And I know these blocks are now not going to match, but please, there we go. There we go, three meters down. So I, I need to move up three blocks. There we go, so one, two, and then we're on. So three meters down if you want it right next to it, otherwise you've got to place it a little bit further back. And this asset, not only is it absolutely huge, but it is also made that you can position it in lots of different ways, and it can be used in many different ways. Uh, also, the stairs are so nice to climb. So nice to climb. You can climb yeah, the looks stairs. Super smooth. They, yeah. they are. I'm not having to mess about much. But yeah, so you can go through, through different little doors. You can jump through these windows. There's a couple of windows where the height is just a little bit too high. Uh, so you would even need to adjust the jump height because jump height is auto at 0 0.5. You would need to adjust it to 1 to jump through it. So you'd be able to just sort of walk up and go through it. Um, or you'd need to place like a block in front of it. I'm trying to find where, where the issue on was. It may be when this is flipped over, but that's where it is. Uh, so this is made to be a swimming pool. Uh, also made that you can crawl out of here. However, and now I'm going to have to jump all the way down. However, you cannot crawl through the railings, and that's on purpose. Alex made that on purpose to make sure people don't just crawl out through the railings. Why would people want to crawl through the railings? Though? Because people <laughs> are silly. Uh, oh, here it is. Wait, this... Oh, no, you can jump through that bit. Uh, and as you can see, the stairs here, they're made to be flipped over. Yeah, oh I've also gosh. noticed a few things kind of on the walls so that if yep. you flip it on the side. My favorite thing is here, you can see there's a wooden plank. So what I'm going to do mm -hmm. is I am going to grab this one and I'm going to flip it. Here also says uh, that it's it, it may be a really cool idea to make a parkour race so you block off certain areas. And uh, you make people race through it. That's an interesting idea. Yeah. But these can be aligned. Um, and it's meant to be, uh, weirdly enough, don't know if you've noticed the name, but this is City Block Spring. What do you think that could mean? I have no idea. No? What about the people in chat? I'm sure they cannot guess such a thing. No. They cannot guess? Well, I will tell them. But there will be a summer set too? Oh my gosh! Yes, and a wow. winter and an autumn. Garnican. Yeah, four seasons. <laughs> Lucas is right. Is right. What? Um, yeah. He is right, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> And so uh, one thing Alex mentioned was the main idea is that you could make a cube. So you could place two like this and then another two on top and have all the different seasons. But obviously this is something where you can, there's no, I'm gonna use his words, there's no wrong way to use this asset. However, there are right ways as well. So there's no, there's no wrong way but there is definitely a right way to There's do it. There's a right way. <laughs> yeah, there, there is a right way to do you're it. You're not but doing then, it the right way. Yeah. You're, just, you're not doing it the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there, there is a right way to do it, but there is no wrong way. <laughs> there is no wrong way. Wrong, uh, wrong way. Um, so let's, let me show you some cool stuff on here. So if we go to City Block, I'm just going to replace these. Because who needs these here when we got better I stuff? I really want to drop a form. Do you want me to oh, drop a form? Oh, please, please do. Okay. We've got a scruffy up for grabs today. For those of you who don't already have one, if you already have one, please don't enter because you will not win and win it. So look at this, these blocks, 
Wait, did I place it correctly? I did not. Oh no, I'm off center. Uh -oh. I'm off uh -oh. center. It's fine. It's fine because <laughs> look, look, it's it's fine. Because we're just gonna be like bloop. There we go. Now we're now we're even with it. There we go. Oh, that's fantastic. But look. Look at this. You can look at the lining. Oh, that makes me feel so happy. It, this it is does. satisfying. <laughs> look at that. So you can it's so satisfying. <laughs> you can block off that entire railing. Um obviously if you put pieces underneath like I did, that's not you're gonna get a bit of Z fighting happening there. Didn't really need to place one there anyway. I, so. I, I really didn't. I'm just so silly. <laughs> uh, I felt you like, like silly here. thank you. I felt like there was a different city block that Alex was using. But I'm just gonna have a quick look at the blocks. Was he just using a random block to sort of show something? Please excuse me why I look. I think there. Are some other greens that are kind of? It's it wasn't a around green. Around that color. It, oh, okay. it, yeah, it wasn't a green. Hmm. I don't see it. Maybe it was just what one of his it? own. It was. It was. It was something. Oh, oh no! Okay. Oh no! <laughs> now I know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That now you know. <laughs> uh, no, it kind of it felt like a tile like this. But, but orange. I think it was like a, not orange, yeah. orange, but like a, a, a sandy, a sand colour. Hmm. That doesn't ring a bell. No. But, uh, yeah, so it you can... Be one of his own. Look, it's... Look at, look at how pretty it is! What do you guys yeah. think? Yeah. What's not the, what's not to like about this? I think it's great. I really like how he has made everything fit together so seamlessly. It's so easy to, to put these things, the blocks, the assets, everything together. It's it's really great. It's fantastic. It I am excited he, for the for the next ones he does. He ha also mentioned that obviously uh these floors, if you want to place like an asset on the floors, you can obviously just click there and move it up. But another thing, he's made the floors thick enough that you can... I forgot, what do you press to make it just go straight up? Uh, shift. So first you click and then you hold shift and move it up. Thank you. Yeah. Right, so you can do that, place your items on the floor because it's the correct height, because everything has been done with usability in mind and function ness and we're just going to delete the rest of that. Uh, I just love this. This is such a perfect little set kit. A kit. It is it is a lovely kit. Oh, I'm too close to the spawn. Oh, oh look at look at that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm too close to the spawn or I just did too many blocks. I'm I so think silly. Should be too close to the spawn. No, I, I think it's the blocks that I accidentally yeah. made. Right. So, boop. We gotta pretend that I didn't delete all of that. Uh, but yeah, look. Looks like you deleted the ground under it as well. I did. But look, <laughs> that now we flip this other one the other way. So over here, we've got the wood plank here on the front that you sort of walk under, and then we flipped this one 90 degrees, and you can get, ah, and you can fall. This is freaking fantastic. I can't say it enough. <laughs> it, it really, it really like this. is. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna try that again. So go up, we, we avoid there. So look now, now we have sofas. These are the sofas that I forgot to heart. Yay. Uh, but yeah, so look, and also this is this is one thing that I was like, yay, you cut down collision. 
You can sit. Look, you can stand on the table. You can, you can sit on the chairs properly instead of on top. Always break down your sofas and chairs, people. You will make me very happy if you do that. Very, very happy. No one wants to hover above a sofa. N no. Everyone no. wants to place their behind comfortably on the chair or the sofa. <laughs> Listen to V. She knows best. <laughs> v knows best. This makes me think about Mother Knows Best. Oh, I'm yes! Kind of <laughs> Yeah, but except for you're not an evil. Oh, oh are you sure? Oh, are you? <laughs> are you evil? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe you'll find out. I don't want to. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. No, you won't find out. Okay. I'll be nice to you, I promise. Are you sure? Yeah. That's convincing. <laughs> Is it? No. No? No. Aww. That's too bad. <laughs> She's gonna beat me up, people. You heard it here first. Uh-oh. If she goes missing... You know why! I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Promise. Friendly neighborhood vampire. Yeah. Right? I'm a friendly neighborhood vampire. Yeah. Definitely. If she goes missing, check the pub. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she'll, just, she'll just be at the pub. Nothing to see here. Ah, I fell. Nothing but a jolly panda, probably. La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I wanted to go. But yeah, look, look, look at this table as well. You can stand on this table. The light has different collisions. Everything has its place. You will struggle to find any flaws here. I don't think you will, actually, honestly. Uh, let's look over at my notes. Uh, so, free claim for people who have held land since February. Blocks are the same colour as the asset, so they should work with the asset. Uh, we've already tested that. You can see that they're the same colours. Um, block. Oh, we did the columns. Make a swimming pool. Okay. This just feels like I've, I've been given a task by Alex, and I'm just reading off the task <laughs> list. I can do these two. Make a swimming pool. Okay. Right. So I do. I do need water. You're being very diligent. I did it wrong. Right. So I I click and then I shift. You oh. click and then you shift and and drag. Oh, lovely. Right. Great. <laughs> I kind of wish that there was something that would do it in the uh, sort of uh, horizontally as well. That is. Similar to shift up. Mm, there, is there? There is a uh, thing that you can press where it will do all of that. Is it this? V, is there something I don't know about the, the controls? V, Vvox mentioned it and even Alex didn't realize. Um, it was like, they've done something this like... It's going to be groundbreaking for me if I find out how to do that. She'd done something like this, and then... Was it that? Nope. Okay, I'm just I'm just checking something. I've tried so many different combinations I, to I, see if, there, if I could figure it out. I, I know, I know, it's, I know it's something. Right control key, she says. Right, right control. V is there, right here. There, there. To help us. Right control, but it floods the entire thing on that height. Oh. There you go. Oh, right. Okay, okay. I already knew that, but that's not. Is quite. that not what you're asking for? That's not quite what I wanted. <laughs> like, if you, you see, you can make like a pillar going straight up. Yeah. At the top of that pillar, I would have liked to be able to do something similar, like doing a horizontal pillar oh. kind of shape. Oh. Yeah. 
like to just like do that. this, but yeah. 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 Thank you, V Pyre. Instead of doing it. Not V Pyre, V Vox. Down too V-Vox. many V's! Too many yeah, V's! Sorry. The second V has entered the, sh- the chat. <laughs> the confusion starts. I'm always confused. Ah, oh, wonderful. It honestly is. <laughs> See, look, now I've I've flooded all of this. It's very frustrating. <laughs> but the right control thing is something that not too many people know about. I did actually cover that in one of my um, basics tutorials. And even Cyber Dragon was like, oh, you can do this? <laughs> so it's something that I don't think it's in any of our documentation. It so it's sort of something that you discover if it, it you've been fiddling is. with things. It apparently is in some of our documentation. <laughs> is it? So yeah. why is it that no one knows about it? <laughs> because nobody, nobody reads. <laughs> ah. I think I guess, yeah. I guess uh, more people should read then. Yeah. That's the consensus. You guys need and to note on reading. that. We are reworking. We are reworking the academies and we're going to have a lot more up to date and new content coming. What's that? Which is going to be really exciting. Okay, pops. Sorry about that. Um All right. Hey Clangers. Ah, oh, V said it's an honor to be confused with V. You Aww. know what? It's an honor to be confused with you too. Ah, that's so sweet. You are awesome. But there we go. Now we've got a swimming pool. Now, obviously, an issue is you can you can swim right out, which isn't ideal. Maybe don't do that. Yeah, which isn't ideal. <laughs> However, you can always put an invisible block. That away. is exactly what I was going to do is put an invisible blocker wall in. So to do that... Hey, uh, Ghost of Mars. How are you doing? Ghost! Ghost of Mars! Have have you decided if you're entering the Heroes vs. Villains Vox Edit contest? Do it, do it, do, do it. Do it, do it. <laughs> Clankash! We want more of your things. Clankash! Do it! Everybody do it! <laughs> everybody, everybody do it! Right, so I believe this frame is like the perfect size. There we go. So this frame is the perfect size to go in here. Thank you, Shed. That was an epic belly flop. I didn't see the epic belly flop. Now I'm sad. Be sad. Be happy. Be happy. V. Okay. <laughs> You get uh, it? That's yeah. so funny. You are extremely funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I entertain myself, and that's all I can ask for. That is that is a good thing. That's a good thing to be able to do. Entertain myself. Yes. Uh, yeah. All right. So we put these bad boys in here. Oh no, Ghost is not going to participate. Why not, Sad Ghost? Bank. Ghost? Why not? <laughs> right, and then you just click... You said why not. Why? It's not so... happy with what he did. I don't oh! believe that it's, it's not good do you, enough. Do you I want, don't believe Do it. you want some feedback on your assets? Because we can do that. We can make you happy with it. Also, the deadline has been extended. <laughs> until July 9th now, so you have a whole additional week. So there is no worth excuse. Mentioning. Yeah, there's no <laughs> excuse. All right, so yeah, just make sure you highlight all of the, whatever asset you're using to block the area off, and you then click the little I thing. So look, on, off, on, off, on, off, shake it all about. Can I enter with the mask character I made a year ago? Uh, no, don't. 
please. <laughs> much, much like you can't enter with other contest submissions, um, you you should really be making something new, or at least doing a a fair amount of editing off of something existing. If you already think that maybe this could work, but please do make sufficient ad, ad changes to it. Uh, this also goes with game jam. Uh, entries as well please make sure that you are starting to create it uh you know as a new new uh, new game that you are creating yes please. and definitely if you are prone to entering uh game maker funds uh make sure that uh obviously if you do a game in game jam and you would like to then submit it to the game maker funds that's perfectly fine however if you're already submitting an idea to the game maker fund and then a game jam comes out that is within the tone of what uh, of what the theme is. Please, please don't then submit because you're not making it for the game jam. You already you already started making it, so uh, yeah. Look, but now now we don't go outside. Look at that. Now Ooh. it's just a window. Yeah. But look at this! There's our little cacti plant. Who doesn't like a little, a little cactus? I love them. Me too. I think they're freaking adorable. I think they're adorable. wonderful. They don't they... die when I forget about them. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Very grateful. I fell. But yeah, can you imagine making a parkour out of many different rotations this will 100 of this? This 100% work as a parkour. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be great. Like, you, you purposely block off some certain doors yeah. and things. And yeah. You yeah, could... you could 100% do that. But look, I'm basically parkouring right now. I want to yeah. get over to that bit. What's my best? Oh, here. There we go. Oh, look. And here's a little post box. And here is a really ah, cool look at little... That wall idea look little oh, oh the plasters come off of it the rendering not the plaster the rendering uh <laughs> melty spring flower how lovely yum random stairs yes but it's so so cool there's so <laughs> many options you can do with this uh we're just gonna go over these assets that we've got We've got a couple of assets here that you can buy individually. So there is a post box. There is the amazing woven rug. There is the <laughs> melty, oh, whoops, the melty flower graffiti. We got the bush and the cacti. We then also do have the sofas as the inner room. Where? There, here they the are. Yes. Uh, we also have the sofa and the love seat as individuals that you can purchase as well. But yes, you can flip it. It's it's supposed to work any way. That, like there there should be something that you can do. Although upside down, I feel like you you'd struggle potentially. You might, you might have to. Um, you might struggle to enter it at least. I don't yeah. know if there might be like. Well, ups you can still well do. upside down, but attached. Yeah. Yeah. Upside down. Although I don't know if like is it, if he's made like any furniture on the on the um downside or whatever you want to say. I don't, I don't think it looks like he has. No. But, I mean, you can still use it. There are yeah. still rooms you can well, go through and all that. Well, imagine this is the top floor. You just, you, yeah. you raise up. Oh, this is like the roof. Yeah. Yeah. You, you raise up a little, little bit here. And you just, you, you place some thing, thingylings. Wall beams. Did I not raise that, that high enough? I don't think I did. Yeah, no, it's in the floor a little. You just put some bits up here. Oh, 
I just tried oh, I've to not, I've not camera done... in your game maker. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know you're to... obsessed. <laughs> I was so into it that I thought I was the one who was in the game maker right now. You're like, why aren't you Bad moving times. it like this? <laughs> But look, look at this. Look at how big this is. This is a two by yeah. two plot of land. Look. Yeah, that's Look massive. at that, yeah. You can, obviously, as well, if we just duplicate this one, you can, see, just make it so the stairs just continue to go up as well. You can make it like doubly high. You can you can do whatever the frig you want with it. Honestly, that is one tall staircase. The stairway to heaven. Quite literally, almost yeah. Wait, look, look Pickaxe Master there. came in saying those assets are super good. Nice to see they're snappable. That is the best part about yeah, I, it. Oh, the, yes, the snappables. <laughs> Oh, it's and look so at good. this! We didn't look at this last time. Look at this little table with the little globey globe. I did notice that. I really like that little globe. Little globe. And then we've got different bits of the wall. So we've got this little material here. We've got uh, the the plaster, the rendering coming off. Got these little bits that make it look nice. We've got a sideways cactus plant, cacti. <laughs> Table, swimming pool, rug on the side. Who doesn't like hanging up their rugs? It's the tapestry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, we got a bit of Z fighting happening there. Oh no! <clears throat> but that's just oh. because of how I positioned it. Yeah. I didn't. It's your fault. It, it honestly is. It always <laughs> is. <laughs> But there, there is so much that you can do with all of this. It is super cool. Uh, and once again, uh, to find the blocks, because the blocks themselves are completely free. They are basic assets. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven new blocks that anybody, any of you can use. And they work really well together. So we've got like the bottom, we've got the top. We've got just a, a green, full a full green tile happening here. We've got our quarter tiles. We've got the pool tile. We've got a solid white. And we've got a solid green as well. Look at that. Don't tell me that you aren't happy with this free stuff. You can then buy all of the other city block assets for a small charge on the Sandbox website, which uh, let's, let's link that one more time for you guys to take a look at that in case you want to pick any of those bad boys up. I've already picked you up a, I have, I've already picked up the city block potted bush because it's only $1.70 USD to the current sand price. Uh, street lights are a little bit cheaper. Uh, same price for the cacti, and then the other assets just get a little bit more expensive. The post drop, aka post box. The city block itself, though, once again, this is going to be a claim, a free claim for people that have land from February. So if you held land at, in February, that is the rough date I was told, uh, then you are in luck you will get that in your claims drop for landowners. So this is for landowners. It's for landowners. For landowners. But anyway, I think we have talked a lot about this. I have given you the, the rundown. We have gone over and over and over and over. So let's jump into our extra large assets, which, oh, actually, we don't have any more time. <laughs> And we actually don't. I also just dropped the, the scruffy form a couple of minutes ago. I'm going to close it up. And um, well, in that it. case, I am going to just do a little bit on here because uh, taking inspiration from a detail on one of Alex's uh, on the city block that he did. He did like a 
little wool brick thing where it just kind of looked like this just a little bit. I think he made it like a little bit more dotty. Oh wait, that's actually deleting. I, I didn't want to delete delete. Uh-oh. Yeah, but he made it like a little bit more like this. So I, that just kind of looks like a droopy boob. But uh, I'm going to do... No, stop <laughs> deleting! What is wrong with me today? Uh, but I already did. Did you forget how to vox? I, I did. I did forget how to vox. Oh, no. I don't, I don't know how to do it anymore. Oh, no. But I'm just going to do... Just Bad look times. At, it is. I'm just going to add just a little bit of detail here. A bit of detail there. Go up a shade. Yeah, that's looking good, I think. I think that's not looking too bad. Hey, pick a pickaxe master. Hope you're good. Did I sneak into the form or did you miss? I don't know, Clan Cash. I mean, someone, someone managed to get their their entry in at the very last second. Was so it? So that could have been you. Well, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, who who was the last person? Let's see. Abard Anastasia was the last person. Oh. You weren't the last person, my friend. Sorry. Ah, Sorry, Clankish. Hmm. You've been here for a while. You should have filled it out, Clan Kirsch. I also appreciate you being here. You're amazing. Adore you. Hope you're doing well. All of that. Yeah. <laughs> All of that friendly stuff. Um, and for anybody wondering, for Voxel Wars, uh, somebody did ask, are uh, people going to be like, is there going to be a post of the 15 that make it through to be on the show? No, because one of the main things that I'm I'm really trying to incorporate across all of the contests, especially Fox Edit ones, is that we don't see names for people taking part in contests to make it fair. So um, instead of someone being like, oh, I see that person doing loads of tweets and they seem like an influencer and allow that to take precedent, not that judges really do, but I do feel like potentially, especially for a show where the live audience, aka okay, you guys, are going to be voting people out, I think if you know who's competing, there could potentially be room for bias. So we like to avoid that. So the oh, only so is the contest going to be entirely anonymous as well? So when they are participating, only numbers will be there to oh. signify who they are. And oh. yep. Yeah. And the winner will be the only person announced via their social media name if they wish to. Well, yeah, they're going to be announced via their social media name or whatever name they wish to go by. Uh, afterwards, we will do a Twitter post sort of thanking the contestants that took part in the first ever show of Vox Awards. And we will do like a tweet with those apps there. Uh, and then people can just guess which one you were. But uh, yeah, to, I very much like to avoid any type of bias or the potential for bias. Uh, in in contests. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, it's it's the best way to keep it fair, and especially when we're doing a contest where you guys, especially when it's 
the public voting. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Don't want any popularity interfering. Nope. What do you say we find a winner? Or Please, I announced the winner. Yes. I already found the winner. You found the winner? <laughs> are they I are did. they eligible? They have been found. They are eligible and they have been found. Do it. And the person who has been found to be the winner of the Scruffy NFT is Mosquita. Congratulations. Oh, GG's Mosquita. You're making a nice little collection of panda assets. Sometimes I, I do I do wonder <laughs> whether we need to actually put a limit on how many times you guys can win different NFTs in these streams. <laughs> uh, but for now, nah, I'm gonna keep for it. For different assets, I still Yeah, think that. yeah, okay. for different it, that's see that's my thinking. For different assets it seems it seems better. It's why I try Fair and enough. do it's why I try and do numerous of the same, like the weapon crate. I'll try yeah. and do like a lot of those in a row so we get different people. Yeah. But that Scruffy NFT will be sent to you roughly within six weeks' time. Gas depending. Gas is low. However, unfortunately, when I tried to send some assets the other day, it was taking like 20 minutes to process one. And the gas was low, like it was 13. And I was like, why are you not sending? So I will try again. Uh, I would love for anybody who knows how I can do mass sending. If somebody knows how I can just have like 10 people who need a weapon crate and I can just send it as like a multi sender thing. Anybody knows how to do that. Please let me know because that would be helpful. <laughs> Oh, Pickaxe Master will DM me. You know how to do that? Oh, please do. Please. I, I did that at some point a very long time ago. Yeah, though. it's... I, 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 try, how. I try to Google it and I get a lot of different things come up and I'm like, I, I don't know words anymore. <laughs> Escape rune artist. Did you say it would be sent roughly? Oh, Ruff, because of I Scruffy. Guess. Yeah, that <laughs> took know. that took me a little too long. <laughs> it did. Yeah, it really, um, really did. So oh, for anybody, Tiger streams every night of winning a weapon crate. <laughs> oh, Clankash, have you not I won one yet? I believe in you that you will win it one day. Clank, I I could have swore you'd won one at some point. I feel like you've been here forever. Maybe I should just send you one for you know being. Being a long-term and OG supporter, <laughs> did I, haven't I have I sent you an NFT before? Did I not send you Scruffy? <laughs> yeah, Scruffy. Yeah. I've yeah. Got there you go. You've Weapon got free crate, stuff. I mean. You've yeah, got free stuff. No, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't like, complaining. I wasn't complaining. I've got your Scruffy. Oh no, Clan Cash is like no, but like we should we should reward the OGs. Clan Clan Cash. In fact, all of you, many, almost all of you here probably don't know this information. Clan Cash is literally the reason I started doing Fox Edit. Is the, I didn't even know that the literal reason I even do Vox Edit is because oh, of Clan Cash. Yeah, crate. honestly, yeah, it should. Uh, OGs deserve free. Yeah, but at that point, we're like, <laughs> what are we classing as an OG? Clankash, you're the only OG I know. You knew me before that I is even the OG did... of OGs. Yeah. He, he knew... Clankash knew me before I even looked into Sandbox. They have been in my streams since early, early streams over on DLive. So, yeah. Ah. That's a while ago. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. It was very, 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 very early, and was literally one of the people to f potentially the only person to push me to do more Vox Edit stuff. They're like, "You really should apply for the Creator Fund," and I did, and I got in. And they're like, "You should really stream oh, Vox such a Edit." Nice story. Yeah, they're like, "You should really stream Vox Edit." So I did, and that was really helpful. Um, and then before all of that, they were like, "Hey, have you heard about the Sandbox?" Um, and yeah, I I think I may have heard about it from one other streamer who I was really close to at the time. Uh, but hadn't properly looked in. Thanks to them, I did. Um, when we were just kids. Yeah, when we were just kids. <laughs> that does sound like it. Yeah. 
Oh, it's almost. Decades ago. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it was such a long time ago. It feels it, though. It feels like such a long time ago. Uh, when in reality, it probably isn't that long in the grand schemes of things. Um, what is it, like three years? That still feels long. Three years still feels long. It's got to be roughly so three years. It really sounded like something like a decade or something. <laughs> yeah, no. Three years is like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right, that was last month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I, I do think that you, you do deserve at least something. More than that, I'm sure. Uh, okay, so I got into crypto. I started streaming on DLive, and I brought my very first NFT April 2019, I believe. I can double check. I'm pretty sure it's 2019 and not 2018. Um, and it was near November, November of that same year that I started looking into Sandbox because of you. So 2019, 2021, 22. Oh, so four years almost. Oh, so like three and a half years. Wow. Oh yeah, we were we were just kids back then. <laughs> uh, babies practically. Yeah, yeah, we we grew up together and everything. Right before we finish, <laughs> because we do need to finish. For those wondering, uh, this is a giant modular asset that we're building. A little bit different to Alex's type of modular. Alex built the modular uh, Spring City, the City Block Spring. Uh, building is more like modular is in it can be put together in different ways this is more i'm making something a little bit similar to the shrine of truth where different parts will go together to make an even larger asset and we're building each section as large as we're allowed to make within reason i'm not gonna you know do a super huge asset just for no reason some of them might be like slightly smaller than the max size but this is the max size so this is uh 512 by 512 by 512 uh in height and length and width so it is the maximum i think there was like three voxel breathing room at the top uh once this is done we're gonna start building the next part I have also decided that each major section will be its own asset as well. So this broken column will be an asset. The arch will be an asset. This bit of wall, this broken small wall will be an asset. Wall, wall two, both separate assets. And then small blocks, so the broken bits of wall will also be a, another little small asset, but not part of the actual modular Thing, just something for that. I was like, oh, actually, I could do that. I actually think that looks good. Like, I need to change this. This doesn't look good. But this whole, the little bits here and here. Wait, can, you can't see my mouse. For frog's sake. Oh, no, we can't. No. So this bit here, <laughs> this bit, this bit, that needs to be changed a little bit. Uh, and I like this bit. These bits, I think, actually look really good. So I like adding the yeah. more detailed brick in some places. But unlike the other side where we've got the vines growing, I think these bits really add, really add like an additional detail, like right there. Whereas we've got the vines on this side, which takes away from some of the bricks, so we don't need to add there so yeah i think i think that's quite nice uh next monday the vox edits wait is it next monday no next uh, monday no uh, oh next, no it's not no next monday absolutely fine we're gonna be we're gonna be doing our usual stream vox edit stream so we'll be continuing this i will be doing personal streams continuing this probably friday evening uh tonight i am most likely going to do some final fantasy for those that want to go check out my personal channel please do um but yes we will be doing this on my personal stream as well because it's a huge a huge huge asset and you guys wanted to see every aspect of it being built instead of me taking it home and doing some homework 
You're like, no, always live, always live. <laughs> Still can't see the mouse, is it cute? Yeah, it's, it's pretty cute. It's, it's a cute little mouse. Um, your son gave me an Axie years ago. I do remember receiving, was that, that was the, the, the mech? Was that the mech? I can't really, we'll, we'll go off on a tangent if we go down this road again. Uh, right, so hopefully this stream was really informative to you guys. I will see you again next Monday with V as the voice in my head. Uh, Lucas should be streaming on Saturday, so make sure to tune in for that. Um, you have one additional week for the Heroes vs. Villains Rock Edit Contest. Please enter. Please enter. I don't want to have to be like, okay, <laughs> let's extend some more. Um, I think you. Please, like, I, I don't please think... Please take we, our money. Yeah, come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> like, don't you like free money? Um, <laughs> the kids, it's money. Don't you like money? Um, the Blonde Asia Fox Edit <laughs> Contest closes tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. UTC. Convert that to your local time. Please get those submissions in. Um, as always, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever, oh, I just opened up Photoshop, wherever you are in the metaverse, <laughs> let's just switch to this screen, wherever you are in the metaverse, I will see you next time, good vibe, good, good vibe, good vibe, good bye, <laughs> good bye from me, and <laughs> goodbye from me, bye everyone, goodbye, 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 oh, that's a lovely song. Thank you. I wrote it myself just did, now. Did you? Yeah. I'm, I'm so proud of you. I'm so talented. You are. You are <laughs> like the most talented person I know in the whole entire world. I know. Yeah. The poetry is amazing. Uh, Garnica wants to sing closing time. Okay. Oh, uh, that's for Panda. Oh. Uh, I sang my song. You did. Uh, it's the closing song, closing the end of the stream. It's the sandbox duo, Panda and V, out for today. Bits of cats, 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 bits of cats.